Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on describing an enlargement by a negative scale factor. Now remember the enlargement is when we make the shape either bigger or we make it smaller. But I also have previously mentioned that it is possible for the shape to in fact flip over as well as becoming bigger or smaller. And when the shape flips over, we end up with a negative scale factor. So I'll show you what we mean by that. Now remember, when we describe this transformation, we need to say what type of transformation it is. And this is an enlargement. And remember, we also need to say what the scale factor is. So by scale factor, and then we give a particular number, which will work out. And then we also say what the center is. We have center and then we're going to give a coordinate. So let's think about this scale factor first. But let's think about the approach that we've used for all these other types of questions. Well, we always identified a point on the original shape, let's say this right angle here, and a point on the resulting shape, the object, because remember going from A to B, that's the right angle there. And then we always draw a line that goes through those two points. So I'm going to draw a line like this you would usually be using a ruler. And let's do the same for another two points. So if we look at this point here, now can you see that the shape is flipped upside down? So this is the pointy bit on this shape B, and this is the pointy bit here on this shape A. So I'm gonna draw it here. Now if I draw a line between those as well, can you see that those two lines join up at this point? So this is our center of enlargement. So the method is no different to what we did before. So let's read off the coordinate of that, and then we'll worry about our scale factor. So across the x-axis, we've got five. Up the y-axis, we've got five. It's five, five. Now, the scale factor. I previously said that we look at the width of each of the shapes. So we can see this is a width of one unit, one square, and this is a width of two units. So you might think that the scale factor is two. But if the scale factor is two, it would be enlarged out like this but it's kind of flipping over. And whenever it flips over like that, then the scale factor is gonna be a negative number. So rather than a scale factor of just two, one to two, we're gonna give a scale factor of minus two. Now, if you're wondering why it's minus two, I explain that in another video where I actually show you how to do enlargements by a negative scale factor.